The clock is ticking toward moving day for the landing's last remaining tenants. While most are already gone, a few shops and restaurants are still open. The deadline for them to close is Friday. The job of demolishing the once iconic landmark has gone out for bid. After buying out the previous owner, Slayman Enterprises, the city set aside one and a half million dollars to help some of the businesses relocate and find new places downtown. News 4 Jack's I-Team investigator Vic Michalucci spoke with some of the remaining tenants and the city about what's next. He's joining us live downtown. Vic. Tom, it is the end of an era for some of these people. A couple of these businesses have been at the Jacksonville Landing for more than three decades. And some of the owners and employees today tell me they're not happy with the way their story is ending. It's really sad. Michelle Rhodes has seen the rise and fall of the landing. Her business has been here 32 years. This is just a sad thing is when my parents opened this business, I was 11. And now we're closing it. My son's 11. She runs Hannah and her sister fine jewelry, but doesn't know what's next because she has been told she has to shut down by Friday. I'm just really disappointed in the administration for how they're handling it. She tells us communication has been scarce since the city took over from Slayman Enterprises, and she doesn't know if she'll get any money for relocating against her will. This is a sad sight for so many. The once bustling Jacksonville landing is now essentially a ghost town. You remember when it was bustling? I do. Yeah, we'd go up to the food court and all the spots were filled. Almost every shop is shuttered. Some stores moving their merchandise, others giving away what is left. Coastal Cookies has been a favorite for three decades. Now employees are preparing to serve up their last batch. It's crazy that they're closing. You know, we've spent so many memories here. Hooters and Compass Bank can stay for now. Everyone else is leaving. Not sure what's next and what, if any, payments they'll get from the city. A Jacksonville spokeswoman telling us not everyone is getting relocation money. The bulk of the tenants had agreements with 30-day termination options in their lease. In some instances, rent has been waived by using budgeting money. In some cases, the city bought out the leases. And that city spokeswoman said city employees have been in touch with each and every one of the tenants here to let them know their options to keep an open line of communication and if at, a, uh, if at all possible, help them through this process. We're live downtown outside the Jacksonville Landing. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.